Good day. It's September 24th, and it's supposed to be the end of the world. But we're all here, and it is not the end of the world. So I'm going to react to a video that turned me on to Don McDonald in the very, not in the very beginning, because he's been around for a while. But I think that this song is super salient and important. It's called Brainwashed. Because we are reaching an epidemic level of people in this country who are absolutely brainwashed, unfortunately. Half the country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows, politics, celebrity, gossip, popular neat quotes, black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. But if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole pride month. The most dangerous pandemic's propaganda from these clowns. Only masks is gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. We don't need to defund police. Need to defund the media who lies through their teeth. Like we need to defund the media who lies through their teeth. I couldn't agree more. That is the virus. The media is the virus. Every day... I go on the Microsoft Edge homepage because it's what I'm forced to look at through where I make my money every day. And I cannot, I honestly cannot believe the stories. They are so ridiculous and completely insulting to any thinking human beings intelligence <laughs> this is a great point that he's making right now big farmer doesn't cure you dog because every patient that gets cured is a customer lost and big oil runs the world the only wars to get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want heard him claiming if a white man braids his hair and likes rap he's appropriating culture but if a white man acts too white he's white trash he's a racist he's a bigot he's a monster let's just have the conversation not every liberal is dumb not all republicans are racist the government yeah, they've managed to um, separate us by political party, which is an age-old division, divide and conquer strategy. And if you're somebody like me, you're not affiliated with any particular party. And you realize that it's all fake. Like Kevin McCarthy's uh, Unite America or whatever he did the other day. Like, yeah, bro, spare me. I've seen your true colors. You're part of the Uniparty. You're part of the party that wants to enact tyranny, global tyranny, actually. They're not even like American communists. They're global communists within our country because anybody that's going along with this rhetoric and this narrative is no longer just an American communist. They're furthering the message of world tyranny because our leaders are bought off. And I use the word leader jokingly. Man wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can't stop us because we're ready to fight, trying to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. Us against them and then you against me. How did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep. Okay, we know about fluoride, right? <clears throat> Can you imagine that dentists are still trying to push this as a cavity preventing chemical? And it's been, it's a known toxin. I recently went to the dentist for a cleaning and... They're like, oh, 
um, they started to polish my teeth and I said, oh, is there fluoride in this polish? And they were like, yeah, you have to pre-request no fluoride. And I was like, okay, bro, whatever. But the fluoride calcifies the pineal gland. The pineal gland is somewhat associated with your third eye, which is here. And when people's pineal glands are calcified, they're more susceptible to brainwashing because they're not able to think clearly. Claim that what was best for us, I find it hard to believe Cause they were selling us cigarettes since we was 18 Fake news, fake woke, distract and divide You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white Yeah, they really care about your health, the FDA, right? Selling cigarettes um, to 18 year olds, yeah, okay Big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life Cause the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device And I don't know what I'm more sick of Rappers or Joe Biden looking like he ate a hundred Xanax for dinner Cause censoring the president and kicking him off Twitter Is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign ballistic missiles you know? Yeah, the censorship and um, going after um, one uh, philosophical um, or philosophy Difference of philosophy holding populace is not the way towards a good future. And I know that a lot of people who identify um, with the current administration are excited about the government targeting people who think differently than they do. But what they don't understand is the danger in that and how the implications of that are far reaching and far dangerous for every human being in this country because there will be no discourse allowed or no exchange of information and better ideas. Everybody will become in intellectually stagnant, which is really bad for a society. Don't trust the police and the government, but you want people giving up their right to own a firearm. Why would you be comfortable if police and the government are only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun? White privilege getting amplified to reinforce division. It convinces white people that they're favored by their skin, and black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They Can we commend this guy for his writing, first of all? I mean, to articulate the way that he does within a rap song, so many profoundly important topics is so impressive. I love Tom McDonald. I'm so glad that addiction didn't take his life and that he's sober and he's more salient than ever. And um, one could even argue that many people fall prey to addiction because they're, they're intelligent and they need to dumb down or quiet their minds. And obviously... Since he's been sober, he's been killing it because his mind is active. And we can't be afraid of our own thoughts because they're just thoughts, right? And thoughts have the ability to come in and go out of your brain or they can have the ability to ruin your life. And the fact that he is looking at the world and dealing with what's going on and communicating it in his art he's expressing himself and he's fine people need to express themselves to be fine we all know that and we all know the implications if you do not do that can't stop us cause we're ready to fight trying to brainwash us but we won't let freedom die the whole world's brain Step one, train the people only to consume step two. 
Step one, train the people only to consume. Infiltrate adults with the news, step three. Infiltrate the adults with the news. Indoctrinate the children through the schools and the... Indoctrinate the children through the schools. The music and the apps on the phones that they use, step four. Separate the right from the left, step... Separate the right from the left. Five, separate the white from the black. Step yep. six, separate the rich from the poor. Use religion and equality to separate them more. Step seven, fabricate a problem made a lie. Step eight, put it on the news every night. Step nine, when people start to fight and divide, take control. This is called situational design. They can't stop us. How intelligent was that was that bar that verse whatever you want to call it the steps of ruining a society which is currently happening to us now i mean this guy's brilliant you cannot deny that he has a great relationship with his parents with his family his sister and his brother-in-law work on his videos his very talented um, girlfriend edits. She's a she's also an artist who was signed to a major label and went independent. And I'm so glad that she and Tom got together. And this is the way to live. If you're in a relationship, not going out all the time, partying, wasting your time, wasting your money, wasting your intelligence, you know, it's the thing to do is get into a creative partnership. It's everything. That's life. Like, I don't know. I just have so much respect for these two. I wish that he would um, open up a movie studio. A movie studio that would create films by very talented writers that Hollywood eschews and shuns because they're not foisting a narrative. Do you hear me, Tom? Start a movie studio. Because we're ready to fight Trying to brainwash us but we won't let freedom die. The whole world's waiting on. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's waiting on. Us against them, and then you against me. Man, I gotta tell you, every song's pretty much a banger, I have to say. And this one really. Um, opened up my eyes and when I first moved down south I was working out in the clubhouse and there was a TV in there and I would play this and this this little girl was so cute would come in and get on the other treadmill and she would say I really like this guy like he's very interesting and she was like maybe 11 years old and I was like yeah isn't he I mean, this song doesn't really have any swear words in it, and it's just very straightforward. And I thought, how funny that this little girl wants to talk to me about this video and what's going on in the world. And I was very touched by that. But anyway, this is my Tom McDonald brainwashed react. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope we don't all die today, September 24th, 2022.